Hello space fans, so uh, this which you see in front of you here, a normal steel ball, uh, in fact this is my vector visualizer and I'm going to tell you how it helped me catch a rocket. Uh, so I struggled a lot with catching my rocket. If you saw my last video, I did manage it, but uh, it, it wasn't wasn't very good. I wasn't that pleased with it, and I've made dramatic improvements, and this is how. Uh, I'm going to put some vectors on here. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about vectors because I'm interested in vectors, but really what I'm interested in, in is direction because the question I'm wanting to answer is in which direction do I point my rocket in order to that, it, that it falls more usefully? Um, so I've put on there a single vector and I'm going to say that is the vector from my spaceship to the pad. I'm currently many kilometres above the pad and I'm falling downwards. Uh, I'm not falling straight downwards of course, I, I'm in a kind of arc and uh, I'd like to better adjust my arc in order that I go towards the tower. Now um, I don't want to fall towards the tower because I'm very very high up so as I as I fall I'm really I'm going to go further and further down until I'm falling almost vertically so if the tower is here then really I want to be falling slightly above it so I want to be falling at this kind of angle uh, so how do I tell the ship that's what I want to do um, well, first of all, how do I even define where I want to go? So this green vector here, which is slightly above that blue vector, how can I describe that vector? I have the vector for the pad, but how do I describe the green vector? Well, I'm just going to use um, a simple linear relationship between my height and the angle between those two vectors. Uh, I don't want to calculate a complicated arc because uh, it changes according to the direction of the ship, the air resistance, the drag, all that kind of thing. And I'll waste a lot of processing power if I try and complicate, um, try and calculate something very complicated. So, let's tell you how we can find this green vector. What we can do is, we know the vector for directly up, which is here, and the vector for the pad, which is here. If we take the cross product of those vectors, that will give us an axis about which to turn the cross product of the vector is another vector that points at 90 degrees to both of these vectors. So these are our two vectors that we know. This is the cross product, which is an axis about which we can then rotate the blue vector by a certain number of degrees to achieve the green vector. <laughs> so th these are all um, functions that are built uh, into the COS, the operation system I use to fly the rocket. So I just have to understand the concepts. I don't actually need to do the math. So we've got the two vectors, we take the cross product, now we rotate around that cross product, we have the green vector. So that's how we've described the direction in which we would like to travel. Now let's say we're not travelling in that direction, let's slightly off. We are in fact travelling in this direction. <laughs> so what do we do now? We're travelling in that direction and we want to travel in the green direction. Well for a start, what do we know about engines? When they fire, they will uh, deflect the vector that you're currently travelling in. So if you think you're, if you're falling straight down and you fire rockets to the left, that will actually start to make you fall towards the right. So in fact what the engines do is they push the motion vector away from themselves. So what we really want to do is have a motion, of, uh, a direction of the engines that points like this. If we point the engines in this direction, that will actually push the motion vector towards the green vector, which is our ultimate desire. So in order to do that, we do the same thing. We take the cross product. It's very, very close to vertical there. The cross product of green, which we know, and red, which we know. And then we can describe the yellow vector by rotating around the axis, which is the cross product of these two vectors. <laughs> and again, like I say, there's methods for doing all of this. I'm not calculating the maths myself. I just understand the concepts and feed them into the methods. So let's see how it works in practice. OK, so here we are with our falling rocket. It's the, the super heavy falling down towards Boca Chica. We're 80 kilometers above, but we're falling about one and a half kilometers a second. Everything's going to be controlled by the script I've written. You can see the output here. We're going to have two burns, uh, an entry burn, and then a pause, and then a landing burn. And I'm going to hit the entry burn about 50 kilometers up, at which point I'll put the vectors in, and I can hopefully demonstrate what I was just talking about. Okay, so here we go. Right, there's the vectors. 
blue vector to the tower, green vector where we want to go, red vector where we are going. So I'm going to point the engines away from the red vector in order that the engines push it towards the green vector. You can see them closing up there. And the angle's proportional, so as it gets closer, they'll just start to line up more and more until I'm going in almost exactly the direction I want. When the engines stop, actually the opposite effect takes, a pla takes place, so I can kind of drag the vector towards, towards where I want, but there's not enough time on the landing burn already. And let's see how that works out. I'm tracking the, the angle here between where I want to be and where I am. It's still quite low, it's under three degrees. So it looks like we're going to be okay. I think we start that landing burn very high for some reason. So it's going to take a while for us to drop in now. I hope our propellant will last. Oh, we still got nearly 5%. I think we're going to be fine. So it's going to draw in the tower around here shortly. There we go. And I think we're heading straight towards it. The vector angle certainly says we are. I'm just balancing the throttle, just running on three engines at the moment, just coming in very, very gently. I actually use a different method as we get slightly closer because uh, when you get very close those vector methods don't work so well. But yeah, I'm absolutely bang on target, it's looking perfect, I'm going to slow down now almost to a stop just so I can lower myself very very gently into the arms which I hope will close automatically. There we go, they close a bit quick, I hope it's not too brutal. No, there we go, we've caught our rockets, yes! <laughs> And there you go, and I think you'll agree if you watched my previous video, that is a lot more accurate. And in fact, I've got 2% of propellant left. I can certainly start uh, sending the Starship higher, further, faster, now that I have made such great improvements to, uh, to my landing strategy. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Real Time Spaceman. I'm signing off.